Well, good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, my friends who have all stopped in to check on our humble little total modded island. My name is Leaf, and as always, it's so great to have you guys here. I'm sorry if you guys hear some ice moving around in the background. That's just me, little coffee. You know how it goes. But yeah, today we are back here in Total Modded Island, and we're doing a little bit of TLC work for the first half of this episode. Yes, we are pretty much trying to get our education back up. We're trying to take care of some business. I finally figured out why the Talkins weren't doing so hot. It's because they couldn't even access half their habitat. Uh, so that was pretty funny. And we're doing a few, like, you know, vanity work all across uh, pretty much the entire park here. Um, just making sure that we get all these small nooks and crannies all decorated and stuff. Taking care of the peafowls as well, so I kind of figure that out pretty soon. So we actually send all of them to quarantine and they all get fixed up. I finally figured it out in this episode. I finally know what to do. Our cougar escaped. This episode was just a really, really great time all around. And unfortunately, the audio did get corrupted, so that's why we have a little bit of a speed build going on for pretty much this entire episode, honestly. Um, even the part where the footage was kind of recorded alongside the audio, sort of like the live portion, uh, that got corrupted too. So we're just doing great. We're really doing great. But no, nonetheless, I want to have a little bit of an entrance over here. Nothing too crazy, a little bit simple. Uh, it finally snowed in this park. I uh, can't remember the last time that happened, but you know, it snowed, so that's pretty cool. I'm gonna do a custom sign later on the, down the line and stuff like that so we can actually get that hammered down. But no, here we are doing a little bit of work and we are finally back over here for the Usuri brown bear habitat. Now these guys are from Russia-ish, kind of like Russia, North Korea, kind of like China area I believe from what I remember. And yeah, so I originally wanted to make this habitat for Markor, and I want to have like this little bit of a mountain climbing experience with them, as well as a smaller elevated area where you could probably like use a wheelchair to get up and stuff like that, but that didn't work out because I couldn't find a male Markor, and you know, that's the only reason why you want to have a Markor. I mean, you gotta have them with like the beautiful horns and stuff like that, but I had to use Surrey Brown Bear in the market. I had two of them, a male and a female, so I pretty much sprung for them, and they have all of this beautiful habitat to work with, so I had a lot of fun designing this one. So, as you can probably tell, I want to have a little bit of an elevated area, and I kind of integrated that with a lot of different stuff, and the new path mod came out as well. So I do use those kind of like gravel paths to make little planters and stuff. You guys may remember that from my video coming out on Tuesday. Yeah, it comes out Tuesday. So it'll already have been out by now. If you haven't seen that, definitely do check it out because I give you guys some like little extra tricks when it comes to making those swanky little paths, you know, making them pretty interesting and stuff like that. But no, so the Usuri Brown Bear was made by Havoc and Good Boy, from what I remember. Maybe Mega Gaming Rex, too. They're like, it's usually always those three or two or even one of them. But no, these guys are beautiful. And here we go, actually trying to get them into the habitat. And I use these fences as well to kind of, you know, separate that a little bit because I wanted to have this little bit of a uh, brown uh, stairs kind of look to it. I don't really know why. I just thought it would look good, and it does look good, so you know what? Never question me, guys. I am always right. Um, <laughs> no, I'm just playing. So yeah, here I am trying to get these guys into their little habitat, but I realize that all my keepers, well, all my caretakers and all my vets are preoccupied with the peafowls, and you can see the big old line of them right there, so I thought that was pretty funny. And you can see them constantly trying to do that. So I actually do buy a second quarantine facility just so we could get that, like, you know, just so we could get all these guys fixed up in no time. And here I am just trying to check out the rest of the stuff I have over here, trying to get rid of some animals, trying to send some of them to the wild, kind of get our conservation up. You know, we're trying to build up as much as we can when it comes to this. And, you know, I'm just having fun with it. It's pretty fun. And you can see them all drop off, like, you know, all the PFLs in there. I take out a loan, probably the worst decision of my life because we end up with like no money by the end of this episode. And I do this little bit of a climbing frame for these guys so they could actually have a little bit of an elevated viewing area. I'm not sure if they actually require, um, if they actually require, what's the word I'm thinking of? What's the word I'm thinking of? Climbing? 
Uh, I guess we could probably see that coming up soon if we look at like their stats on the right. I do some plants as well. Why not? You know, keep the keep the habitat nice and lush. I don't know. I feel like it looks pretty nice in the end. But yeah, they seem to enjoy it. I feel like we have like all the things we need for them. I do this little bit of a roof for them as well. They can climb on the top of it. I'm pretty sure they might be able to escape too. But it doesn't matter. It's fine. Who cares if they kill a guest or not? You know, it's just it's one of the pre-existing conditions of coming into Total Modded Island presented by Leafs Animal Farm. That's the official full name for it now, by the way. No, no, no one steal that. But yeah, they are able to escape, so I did add those little bit of barriers, and I saw that they were able to get up there, so I can make it up with some thatch, but they could still get up there. So, you know, I figured, why not? They can't really escape, quote-unquote, so it's fine. I don't really have any qualm with that whatsoever. And, of course, doing some enrichment for them. And this is about the time where we kind of hop over to the live portion of this, but technically not live because it kind of got corrupted. And, yeah, so here I am just doing some more education and stuff. And you can see what I've done so far, and I pretty much just go through, like, everything that we've done. Our nil guy are doing awesome. I kind of changed out that little food area. I'm going to need to add some more food areas going on forward. Just because I only have vending machines where the original food stalls were, and we need some more food stalls because those make the big bucks. And that's probably why I have no money at this point anymore. But, yeah, I don't know. I just felt like it was pretty good mountainous area. And I do add a little bit of a... Uh, sort of like a oh what do you call it like a shade structure on the top of that so like if you're a guest and you're up there in like the hot summer heat you would just you know fry your little butt off and there are all our peafowls they are healthy they are happy and everyone is doing fantastic now and there's our Usuri brown bear so we'll end it right there and thank you guys so much for watching i hope you guys forgive me for the little bit of the snafu but i'll tell you what i'll see you guys in the next one take care and have a wonderful wonderful day Bye bye now